Dan Willis here, and we're talking about four tips to boost your credit score. So the very first tip is number one, create a trail of positive payment history. This can be done by simply paying your current bills on time. It sounds obvious, but it's still your payment history is so important. Important, and just paying your current bills on time will help it. When your FICO score is calculated, your payment history is roughly somewhere about 40% of your overall credit score. Your delinquent debts will be looked and counted here. Uh, the older any bad credit you have gets, the less it'll influence your credit score, which leads us right into this next tip here, which is remove the derogatory items and listings on your credit reports. You can dispute and challenge negative items on your credit reports. It is your right, according to the Fair Credit Reporting Act, also seen as the FCRA, which is a federal law passed by Congress. You can file a dispute. We suggest you do this using snail mail. In your dispute, you need to include the item you're disputing, the reason for your dispute, the dates, and any supporting evidence you may have. The credit bureaus are required to investigate your dispute and if your information during an investigation, they're going to contact the company or business or lender or collection agency that is reporting that information about you on your credit report, ask them to verify the account. If it cannot be verified, then according to that same law, the FCRA, it must be removed from your credit report. And this is one of the most effective ways of improving your credit scores, removing the negative information from your credit history. Uh, the third tip here is open new revolving lines of credit. If you can get approved for new credit, you should take advantage of this because having another positive reporting item with current on-time bill payment will help to improve your credit score. Also having available unused credit. So if you get a new credit card with a credit limit of $1,000, if you have a monthly balance of $200, then you have $800 of unused available credit. It's... It, it's your utilization ratio. It's how much available credit do you have versus how much debt you have. That's a really important uh, indicator in approximately about 30% of your overall credit score. You really need to show that you have available unused credit. The fourth tip is consolidate and or settle any outstanding debts you may have. If you're getting contacted by these harassing collection agencies, you can take steps to settle this stuff and get it out of your hair. However, whatever you do, don't just pay the debt. That will do nothing. And if the best you can hope for is the item on your credit report will change from unpaid to a paid collection. That's still bad credit. Instead, you have to first validate it, and this will make them prove that it's your debt. And then second, if they can't prove it, you don't have to pay it, and it's an easy item to get off your credit report. And then second, you always must negotiate to pay less and in exchange for your payment, you must get them to either one, remove it themselves from your credit report, or two, stop reporting that information about you. Uh, we suggest you go and start your negotiations after they validate your debt at really low, low ball them, because they've only paid pennies on the dollar for your debt. So if they're contacting you for payment of a thousand dollar debt, they could have purchased your debt for like 30 bucks. And they want you to pay a thousand dollars you know be intelligent don't be a fool and you know don't just go and pay and hope that your credit's going to get better it doesn't work that way remember all these laws are passed to protect you the consumer so please don't be a victim of any collection agencies or even the credit bureaus the federal trade commission finds all these guys the collection agencies and the credit bureaus on a regular basis if you go and look at their history you know the credit bureaus aren't there to help you. They make the lion's share of their money by selling information that they collect about you. And they sell that off to the lenders and the collection agencies and, and employers and people to look at that information about you. If you'd like to get some more tips, please check out an article at our website, yourbadcreditcard.net. Link in the description below. While you're there, please sign up. We currently have a free report. We're just giving away the seven super simple steps to clean credit. Please have a fantastic afternoon. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please like this video. And looking forward to talking to you again here soon.